Hello, I'm Dr. Nidu. I'm a pediatric surgeon at Thompson Specialist. I deal with a variety of surgical conditions in children. Circumcision is in fact the most common of them all. Circumcision is a surgical procedure that involves removal of the foreskin from the penis. There are mostly two reasons people come to me for a request of circumcision. The most common one used to be religious circumcisions, the historic one. And uh, nowadays it's more and more medical reasons for circumcision. Some of those would be things like not being able to pass urine without discomfort, bleeding while passing urine, ballooning while passing urine, or an outright urinary tract infection for that matter. The not so common reasons I would see a child coming for circumcision, maybe one in one to two years, would be injury of the foreskin. So either they tripped and injured the foreskin or some other reason. That too would need a circumcision uh, as a treatment. The symptoms will depend upon the age of the child. So a pre-verbal child would present with parents picking up incessant crying while passing urine, blood in the urine, tightness of the foreskin in the form of ballooning of the foreskin when the child pees. For somebody who's two to three years of age, little words that try to describe the problem would be like pain, pain while he's passing urine or crying when he's passing urine and pointing towards his penis. And then when you have somebody, you have somebody who's seven, eight year old boy, he's probably gonna tell you in words how long this has been going on, what exactly the problem is, and of course things become simpler. Circumcision can be done pretty much at any age once you have made the decision to proceed. From as young as second day of life to whenever you choose to uh, proceed with the procedure. Um, what changes however is that less than six months of age, it's a relatively straightforward procedure for the child. Local anesthesia, no memory of having gone through the procedure and a relatively quick recovery. Also for the parents, it's a relatively quick procedure. When you pass six months as a general anesthesia procedure, a little bit prolonged recovery and a little bit more aftercare on the parent's side. So that's what changes. But to answer your question, when can it be done? Any time once you have made the decision to proceed. Surgical procedure depends once again on the age of your child. So if you're less than six months and you are doing this under local anesthesia, it is essentially deploying a plastic ring. It takes about 10-15 minutes to do. If you cross the six months age group and we are doing this on the general anesthesia, then you're looking at trimming skin to size. It takes a bit longer to do and the recovery is a little bit more prolonged as well. Taking care of the child post-surgery will depend again vastly on which procedure he went through. Less than six months old, local anesthesia procedure, the ring was deployed, pretty straightforward. So maybe a day, two, maybe not even that of fussing. You swaddle the baby, feed the baby as per normal. One week later, the ring drops off. Two, three days from then, you're done. So it's a straightforward procedure. Once it's general anesthesia, the trim skin method that I was talking about, it takes about three, four days for the child to tell you that he's not that painful. You're giving him medicines and sometimes even antibiotics for that, that longer duration. At about five to seven days, things start to look better. Uh, you still, however, cannot um, go for straddling toys. About two weeks is when the child is you, you pretty much recovered from the surgery. So it takes a little bit longer for the general anesthesia trim skin procedure. It's straightforward for the ring method. My final advice to parents would be that you first want to know whether you want your son to be circumcised or not. Now, if you are in the category that wants the son circumcised at some point in his life, then you want to do it as soon as possible. So maybe even at day two of life. If you're somebody who's uncertain, then you can seek medical advice on this, or you can wait for a medical reason for something like a urinary tract infection or ballooning of the foreskin, and then see what is recommended next for you.